Hey everybody, today I wanted to have a little bit of fun with today's video. Um, first I want to tell you about the instruments. They're both from Real Samples. We have a Celesta or a Celeste, same instrument, different way of spelling and pronouncing it. Um, and we also have a piano forte. Now this is a unique instrument. I don't know if there are any other samples of this instrument. It's a precursor to the modern concert piano or the grand piano. Um, it has a very different sound. It sounds more like a harpsichord. You can learn all about the instrument here. This one was built in 1793. So these are these very antique uh, historical instruments that will give you a very unique sound if you want to channel a certain period or this you know neoclassical romantic baroque type music you can get it very easily with these and probably would take a lot of work with other libraries to get that sound we also have the dulcitone celesta again this is an instrument it's played like a piano it's the instrument the celesta is the instrument used in the beginning of harry potter and the hedwig theme it's that very twinkly sparkly type sound it's played like a piano so it you can hear the hammer action on the keys and everything now I wanted to have a little bit of fun with this and do a sort of Halloween spooky type sound uh, demo for you guys. So we're going to explore the instruments. We're also going to explore how to get this kind of sound and what instruments really go well together when doing this kind of spooky Halloween type sound like Luigi's Mansion or something like that or Tim Burton. Let's check it out. All right, so first let's check out the instruments a bit. So I use the Celesta here. Now, these instruments also work in the Hallian sampler. If you look here, we have different presets right here. Um, so they work in the Hallian sampler as well as Contact. So you can get these in a different you know, format if you don't have the full version of Contact. Just something to keep in mind. So let's check out the Celeste. They're very simple instruments, but they're very realistic, and they capture these historical instruments that you won't get anywhere else. Let's check it out. And then we'll check out the piano forte again. It sounds more like a harpsichord than a piano, but it's kind of in between. Not quite either, but again, very unique instrument.
So there you can hear the instruments. There are a ton of dynamic layers, especially for that piano forte. And I was using the version that was tuned to our normal sort of Western tuning with 440 hertz. The default instrument is not tuned correctly so it's accurate but if you try to um play it along with the celesta or with the you know the modern instruments chamber strings and organ and stuff it will be slightly out of tune again it's more accurate that's how the instrument was but if you want the a normal tuning and to match with the rest of your instruments just go in here in the preset category and click the 440 hertz so i used the uh pianoforte and the celestia in this composition and made it kind of a spooky uh, little Halloween type composition. It also sounds kind of Baroque with the chamber strings and everything. So how can you achieve this sound? A big thing is using chamber strings. I was using the VSL um, chamber strings here, but if you use chamber strings, that is what gives you that Baroque classical sound and it matches perfectly with the Celestia and the pianoforte. So that's what I did there with the strings and then I used the organ of course the organ always reminds us of this old kind of spooky you know Dracula castle mansion type stuff it's very stereotypical but guess what it works um, so I used the chamber strings the organ and then finally a children's choir on this one I used Genesis from audio bro but again any children's choir will do that and it gives it that kind of ethereal magical uh, sound but it's also a bit innocent because it's children singing, but it does sound very haunting, hauntingly beautiful, some might say. So layering all those together, uh, we'll isolate the instruments and then we'll listen to the full mix again. And just a quick little fun demo on how to make this kind of music. And you'll notice the kind of uh, chord changes and, and melodies I used. So let's check it out. Thank you. 